Sadiqa Ali and my area of research is developmental psychology, specifically emotions, memory and relationship satisfaction. What do you mean by that exactly? By developmental psychology? Well, let's just zero in on the research, okay. uh, the actual research paper. Alright, so um, my research paper looks at emotions and how we experience them and how we regulate them and how this affects our relationship satisfaction in adulthood. So I'm focusing on adults. Um, I need people who are either in a committed relationship or married in my study. And we ask them questions um, along the lines of, of um, how they feel, how they regulate, how they feel. So if I'm angry, how do I act? If I'm sad, how do I act? If I'm happy? And um, we relate it to relationship satisfaction. So if we experience uh, positive emotions, are we happier? Um, if we experience negative emotions, of course, if our relationship satisfaction um, is decreased. And um, that's, yeah, those kinds of things. So we were reading some of what Amanda had found out about, um, had found out from you earlier. Mm -hmm. And you're interviewing married couples. Right. Is it at the end of it really to see, you know, how they stay married so long? Does it have anything to do with that? Well, yeah. Um, what we're interested in is if we are good at regulating our emotions, if we are positive about uh, our emotions, will it make us happier and therefore more satisfied in our relationships? And of course, that would keep us in our relationships. So. Um, why are older adults in particular? When I say older adults, I mean we're looking at people even over the age of 60. Are you happy? Are you satisfied in your relationship? And we're um, hoping that those of, uh, those of them who are married um, for a very long time and are satisfied, it's because they're happy and it's because they're better at regulating their emotions. And we heard that you got married shortly before you started um, the research. Did, the, did your marriage have, or yeah, did your marriage have or your own relationship influence your research? Yes, definitely. Um, I got married um, just a little less than two years ago. Um, but I started research like about four years ago, so I was already in a relationship, a long-term committed relationship. We were already thinking about getting married at that point. And um, it did influence what I decided to research because I'm not an emotional person, so I was interested, of course, in the way that people um, manage their emotions, the way people feel, and then um, I realized that I was different in my relationship with my husband, Curry, that then uh, he was my boyfriend. Um, the way that I opened up, the way that I felt around him, um, the way that he made me feel, and um, of course that, that definitely um, was integral to my research, and that was kind of like my inspiration, why I decided to, to do what I did. Because I think all of us kind of, um, we study things that are important in our lives. I think it drives a lot of research. So, do, do you think you found the secret? To oh, a well. long-term <laughs> relationship? Not as yet, but I'm working on it because the research is not done. But um, I think I'm getting there. <laughs> and ultimately, what effect do you, would you like to see your research have on wider society, Trinidad, the world? Well, um, it's definitely relevant in terms of things like divorce rates. So for example, um, divorce rates worldwide and in Trinidad have been climbing steadily over the years. And so finding out what makes a marriage work will of course affect how we can work around those kinds of things. So therapy, um, social situations, how can we uh, work together better? How can we uh, communicate better um, by regulating our emotions and therefore it would have an impact on our relationship satisfaction and hopefully we'll stay married longer and happier.